All right, so priorities. I think it can be one of the hardest things for people to do. Uh, people get so sidetracked, especially when life hits them in the face. You know, once you get out of high school and whether or not you go to college, even today, if you go to college, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have a great job, but then you start having real world responsibilities. It's no longer a uh, utopia anymore of I want to do this or I want to do that. And life would be so great if I just got this job and had this income and had this partner and had the white picket fence and the, and the kids and everything and the fancy car. Uh, you have to start prioritizing things when you, uh, you know, getting into the real world. You know, are you going to have a family? Are you going to focus on your career? Uh, have you really done a good job of determining what type of career you're going to go into? Or did you just kind of blindly go into college? And then at the end of it, you're going to try to figure it out. Now that works for some people, but a lot of people today, I think they go into that system and they don't necessarily know what they want to do. And they end up with a bunch of college debt. And then they're looking for a job just like everyone else. And they're 23, 24, 25 years old. And they don't really know how to set any goals. They don't really have a real, uh, they haven't set their priorities of what they really want in life. And they're just kind of going with the wind, right? We're all guilty of that. I'm guilty of it at times. I think when you're younger, you're really uh, prone to that happening to you where you're just kind of blowing in whatever direction the wind goes and you haven't really set any goals. And if you don't have a plan I mean, I know that's, they say that all the time, like you're just planning to fail, but you just, you don't, you don't necessarily know what you're going after, right? If it's, if you go to the gym and you're trying to increase your bench press and you're doing the, the, the exercises and the stretching and everything to, to reach that goal and you're building up to it, that's a perfect example. If you're going to college and you just taking the classes that the people tell you to take and you don't really know what you want to do and you keep changing your major and you don't know any people there, uh, I can tell you from personal experience that uh, you're, you're going to have a very difficult time getting a job and getting a good job. Because it really, unless you have a very, very technical degree, like you're a coder or you're a doctor or a lawyer or a surgeon or uh, something very technical, people do not care about your resume. Because you're, if you think about a job posting, there's maybe a hundred or a five hundred potential candidates that they get, and they're not, they're just not going to look at your resume, even if it's good. They're statistically not even going to look at it, even if it's so great. So it really is more about who you know and having a, a database of people and connections. And I'm not the best at that at all, okay? But uh, your, your opportunities in life basically come as a result of your people connections. And if you don't have people connections, you're not going to have, it's not that you're not going to have real uh, opportunities. You're just going to have a lot less because if you fire off resumes, you know, there's countless videos about this where people send off like a thousand resumes and they get like two interviews or five interviews, or maybe they get 10 interviews, but they get maybe one offer or two offers at, like at best. Right? So the whole thing's kind of rigged against you. It's so easy to apply to jobs and stuff, but you're going to have a really hard time sticking out, you know, it, especially if like it's a machine or a computer that's looking at the resumes and looking for keywords and stuff like that. If you haven't done it correctly, you're not even going to have yours be looked at. So uh, that's, that's just a little bit about the, the market now in terms of like college and jobs. But if you don't know what you want to do and you're 16, 17, 18 years old and you're just listening to maybe your parents or society saying that you should go to college, you know, young people don't really have the information to say yes or no to that. They're kind of just going to listen to whatever the older generation says because they don't have the perspective. They don't know what they want to do. A very few percent of them really know what they want to do, right? They want to go to college. They want to, you know, have that experience. They want to build a network of friends, you know, have the whole college experience, right? So when they do that, if they come out of it with a bunch of debt and they come out of it with not a degree that's really marketable, what have you really done? You've wasted kind of four years of your life. And at least in the United States, you've wasted a lot of money. 
It's different in other countries. In other countries where it's subsidized or it's free, where at least you as the student don't have to directly pay a lot of money for it, it makes more sense for everyone to go to college, right? Because you can socialize with people of your age group, you can build connections with you know the professors and everything, and you can have a network maybe of like professional opportunities. But in the United States, that comes with like $50,000, $100,000 of student debt. So if you aimlessly go into that situation and you don't have a plan, you don't have a degree that you want, you haven't researched what jobs you're going to get uh, after the degree, you're setting yourself up to just be, to have a really bad outcome. And uh, I don't blame young people at all because you don't know any of this stuff at 18 years old. And when people tell you to get an idea of what your salary is going to be and the type of jobs you can get, the economy is changing so fast that whatever you thought you could do in 2017 or 2018 or 2019, it might be completely different now because it's 2025 almost. And the skills that you thought you needed back then might be like not relevant now or a lot less relevant. And maybe you thought maybe you would be better off doing some other degree. So you have to kind of be agile. And I would say, I would say probably don't go to college unless you know exactly what you want to do because you have to prioritize what do I want in life, right? And if it means you need to go to college because you know you want to get a certain job that needs a certain certification, then that's great. Go after that and do that. But if you, like me, for example, I, I, my college degree means nothing other than the fact that I, I check the box. So if someone asks me or a, if I'm having an interview, the only question they would ever ask me is, did you go to college? And the answer would be yes. And that's that's about the most they would ask of you. So it really is just a yes, no binary thing. You, If you didn't go to college, you might get filtered out, but going to college and having a degree, like a business degree or some sort of similar degree, it gives you so little of an advantage. It only, you only get one extra qualification saying, yes, I did go to school. Uh, so they don't necessarily ask you a bunch of information about what you did or what you studied or, uh, you know, the references and everything you had, because it doesn't really matter. They don't care. They really just want to know, you know, did you go to school? Were you able to go into that system for four years and pay all the money and commit to graduating and, and stick with it? They want to be able to know if you can do that. But what I'm saying is, that doesn't even help you. I mean, I had a college degree. I probably applied to thousands of jobs and the amount of times that you never hear, hear back from anyone or you, you know, six months later, you get something saying that they've passed on your uh, application is just ridiculous. So to me, it didn't seem like it really mattered that I went to college. It didn't matter, at least on paper. I think it only mattered from a personal relationship standpoint. Do you know someone that already works there? Do you have a family connection? Do you, uh, are you able to meet someone face to face? I think that's how you get the opportunity. And when you have a real connection or a, or a family connection or someone that's a friend, they oftentimes don't even care if you did or didn't go to school. They're willing to look past those things because they know you, right? So because they know you, that relationship is almost stronger than it is stronger than if you went to college and if you have like the perfect resume. They're willing to give you a chance if they know you and if they like you. And they're willing to overlook certain aspects of your resume that might not be 100% perfect because it's like, hey, this person was recommended to us by someone we know. We want to give them a chance. And you know what? We're going to give them a chance, right? So anyways, I'm kind of straying from what I original, originally said, but you have to be able to prioritize what you want. I'll go back to that. If you know that you want to do something when you're younger, then, then start having that end in mind. If you don't really know what you want to do and you're just going to go to college to go through the motions and then kind of hope that everything works out, that might work for you. But I'm saying that's not very smart because you're going to end up being four or five years older you're going to end up with debt and then you're going to end up with, unless you have a bunch of connections, you're going to end up firing off a bunch of resumes, hoping that you get an interview. 
And a lot of these places that are hiring are not gonna be wanting to pay you a lot of money, especially if you just have a normal college degree. It's like, what skills do you really have over some other random person on the street? Probably not a whole lot more. So be smart about it. I know less people are going to college now because they're saying it's just not worth it. And I agree. If you can't really see what the benefit of spending four years of your life and a bunch of money on going to school is, then you should avoid doing that. And you should start your own business or you should start at the bottom of working at a a company and after four to five years you can get a bunch of experience you can grow within that company potentially and have connections with different people and you, that'll help you move around or or do whatever so both ways i think are still okay but the college degree has just become so much more expensive now that if you don't really have a plan with what you're going to do with your schooling and all the invested time that you have in college that you're probably best off not going to college so let me know what you think. You can subscribe if you want. See you on the next one and take care.